Hello there, welcome to another video, SurfCat. In this video, we're gonna take a look about a third-party core ML model to detect the human body poses, frames captured using a camera. So, so it's a PostNet to detect the human body poses. So what do you mean by the PostNet? PostNet model is deep learning model that allows to estimate human pose by detecting the body parts like a hips, rest, eyes, and form a skeleton structure to join those points. In simply, we can say that there are having the points like this as you can see on the scene it is having the machine learning format it's a model and uh, this is uh, this library and the sources is provided by the apple itself so what i'm trying to do over here is it's having a sample code over here you can find a download button i'll be providing this link link in my video description all right so let's download and see what's that happening there let's i have downloaded the file let's uh, go and search for my file so it's in desktop is projects it's a human body detecting face the file name is a post finder which is having the xcode project so let's click that and uh, open the xcode file right and the project name is simply saying that uh, it's a detecting human body pose in animate all right let's see what's over there so it's let's go to skating taking some time to open over there let's wait for a while here you go it's opened at the moment so you can see some of the files which is having the post finder let's see what's there inside it's having the post it's having the model extension utils ui and the app all right before going to the all those stuff so let's uh, uh Try to connect to a device and uh, let's run and check uh, what's happening in our real iPhone device. So I'm just trying to connect to my iPhone. Alright, so after that, uh, let me run and uh, see. Actually, I have recorded pre recorded the stuff, so, which is uh, for the result. So let's see what's that happening over here. So this is the pre-recorded one which I already drawn and uh, captured using the camera. So let's see what's happening over here. So let's play this. All right. It's having the all the joints to get uh, all the structure, all the body parts get joined as a single skeleton structure and. Uh, it's pretty nice to recognize the movements uh, post gesturing all these stuffs. It's a fantastic library. I recommend you to download uh, and see what's happening there. We can learn more about this machine learning. So those who are interested uh, in the core ML, so just have a look about this sources. Okay, make use of that. Try to learn something by ourselves. So it's pretty nice. So I just want to interact about this to the iOS developers that's why I created this video oh my god yeah that's it so let's see what's inside our Xcode project file it's having the pose which is having the some of the pose models uh, it's actually the implementation of structure which is having the parameters algorithms use of estimation poses that's for the pose builder and for the post builder uh, for post builder configuration sorry and it's for the post builder it's having the implementation of structure which is having the model outputs and it's having the single outputs which means the project which post detection in the browser for the single level single person model and this is having the multiple person post detection as well there's a fantastic thing that it's having the single and the multiple also and then having the post uh, which is having the files which is used for the implementation of structures to detect and then for the joints which is used to des describe a joint all these files are there inside and few of the extensions and the main important part is the model which is presented over already there this is the main part of okay so this is a third party which is mentioned uh, in the it's uh, related to the document type as a core ML model and that's having the post net uh, input which is uh, which is mainly for the inputs and outputs so uh, maybe maybe for the model input feature it's having the image of that then the postnet output file which is having the details of structure to hold the postnet models outputs 
and the last one is a postnet which is mainly the main part of details is to interact with the post model includes the input pre-processing and calling of the model's prediction function all right so let's go through all the stuffs and finally let's go to the main storyboard file as well let's see what's there inside so uh, in my the pre-recorded screen i just didn't go through all the features which is having there are having multiple features as so so let's see what's there inside our camera so when we try to run uh, you'll be able to find uh, some of the uh, settings and uh, algorithm settings as well. There's a single pose and multiple pose. They having features like the joint coincidence threshold, pose con uh, confidence threshold, and it's local joint search radius, matching joint, minimum distance, number of offset, refine steps. It's having the uh, this is uh, having some we can change and adjust uh, based on the things. Uh, let's explore that. Uh, and see what makes the difference uh, from the pre-recorded stuff already. So that's all in this part and uh, it's a very good library which is provided by the Apple. So I suggest the viewers to make use of it and if you're someone interested in the core ML or uh, to learn about the machine learning, deep learning. So it's, this may be a basic uh, stuff and uh, we will try to start from here to detect and learn some, some of the stuff. So that's all in this video lads, so this is about this uh, post detection and uh, this is provided by Apple. So I'll be providing the source link which I've taken this and the main my video description and this is all about. Alright, thank you for watching, thank you lads, see you in the next video with more updates uh, from the Apple or with the more iOS project videos. See you, bye.